Welcome back everyone to the second video of the coroutines uh, playlist in which we explain what coroutines are and how we use them. Uh, in the first video we explained what coroutines are, we gave some theory about coroutines. So we said they are little workers that run inside a thread and they are lightweight. They are there to execute tasks that take uh, too much time to not block uh, our UI because if we don't run them inside a coroutine then we will block our UI. Now let's jump to Underwood Studio and see how we can start a thread. And here we are under the studio. So it actually doesn't matter what we use, whether we use Jetpack Compose or XML threads have nothing to do with that. They are from Kotlin, so they are not from the Android framework. So we can use them with uh, with uh, XML and Jetpack Compose. So here I'm in my own create function. So let's start a thread using global scope dot launch like this. Now I just started or I launched a new coroutine as you can see. Now I'm in a coroutine scope. So this uh, block gives me a coroutine scope. But uh, this is not actually the right way to, uh, or the recommended way of launching a thread, I mean a coroutine. And uh, because uh, a global scope uh, coroutine lives as long as the app does, and uh, we usually don't want that, we just want a, a scope or a coroutine that just lives as long as an activity or a view model. And we will actually explain this uh, in a later video in this playlist. So right now, any code that I execute inside this block of code does not affect my uh, onCreate function or, or my main thread. And uh, let's just right now see where our coroutine executes or the context of our coroutine. And we also see where a normal coroutine that lives as long as our activity life cycle. So let's run another coroutine here, life cycle scope dot launch. So now this coroutine uh, will live only as long as our activity. And uh, as I said, I will explain this uh, later in the playlist. So now let's see where our coroutine here uh, executes. So let's use a tag, let's say coroutine, for example. And now let's just print this life cycle scope and see in which context it executes by saying thread dot current thread dot name. So this will print for me the name of the thread where uh, this uh, coroutine executes or is launched now in our other coroutine let's say uh, global scope and also let's see our main thread so you just copy this uh, this one and have it right here and just say uh, for example on create for example so let's run the app and see where our threads execute now here are my logs and let's see them the global scope coroutine this one uh, runs in a different thread. So this actually launched a new thread, which is the, the default dispatcher worker 2 and the life cycle uh, coroutine, which is the one, this one is in our main thread and also the on create runs in our main thread. So we would normally want to use this life cycle scope one that actually just launches in our main thread. As I said right here, it just launches in the same thread as our UI and this one actually uh, this line of code that executes if this takes too much time then it does not affect uh, this one so this one has does not have to wait for this code to finish and uh, because this global scope uh, coroutine uh, lives as long as our app does then we launch it in a different thread or in a new thread which is this one but this is not the recommended way uh, this might reduce uh, memory leaks because let's say we have some underwater resources in here and uh, basically those resources usually just have a lifetime which is uh, the equivalent or depends on our activities lifetime as well and uh, if that lives as long as the app then we get uh, memory leaks which is what we don't want and uh, now this is how we can launch coroutines so uh, what we have, whatever we execute here is executed inside the coroutine so tasks like uh, loading a database or a retrofit or api for example so this is now for uh, this video and the third video as i said in the first one i said that coroutines are suspendable we can pause them and resume them when we want that's what we are going to see and the next video see you and bye